Florida's texting and driving law gets an extra layer of regulation starting tomorrow. Our Phil Buck is here to help make sure you know everything you need to know. Yeah, we told you back in July about Florida's new texting and driving law going into effect tomorrow. There's another aspect of that law that's going to hit the books and we want to make sure you're prepared starting on October 1st. The state's put it down. Focus on driving campaign will include a ban on all handheld use of any mobile device in certain areas. And just to refresh your memory, if you look back at the numbers from 2016, Florida had 50,000 distracted driving related crashes, especially related to texting and driving in 2016. 233 people died in those crashes. All right. And despite the fact that it's against the law here now, just in the last few months, we're talking about just since this law took effect on July 1st, Florida Highway Patrol has issued 463 warnings for texting and driving. Law enforcement across the state, they've written over 600 citations for texting and driving statewide. So here's what you need to know. FHP says that starting tomorrow, you cannot have your phone in your hand at all in designated school zones, okay? That includes school zones, designated school crossings, or active work zones. This applies to school zones 24 7 365. All right. I don't care if it's midnight on a Saturday in the middle of summer. School zone means no holding your phone. Work zones are only hands free if they are active with lane closures, work crews or equipment that's out there. And keep in mind too that there is going to be a grace period. They can't start writing tickets for this new part of the law until January 1st of 2020. But no, that as of tomorrow morning, you can get pulled over and get a warning if you're in a school zone or active work zone holding your phone in your hand. So consider yourself warned.